PDS TV, the best in edutainment. We're celebrating our math carnival here at Tucker High School. This is a big event that we're doing. This is our second year. The Math Carnival is a vision that I collaborated with the math department as well as STEM, physical education, and today we're just having a four day of fun with math games, carnival style. Here at Tucker High School, every game that the children are playing, this is district wide, they're playing math games from obstacle courses where they can actually run through the inflatable, but to run through the inflatable you must first get 80% uh, accuracy on a mini math quiz. We have the Lego stations that are here, Lego is here, they're building robotics. We have the PE department, they're here doing uh, fun times bowling, as well as they're doing Olympic math where they actually measure long jump. And we also have building your own balloon car races where the parents are racing their kids while building balloon cars. We also have math bingo and many, many other math games. The first challenge over here is students have to decide their robot is broken and the wheels have come off. And the challenge is to figure out which is the correct wheel, the large wheel, the small wheel, or the medium-sized wheel to go on to their robot. They have, to, they have to measure the total distance from the robot to the wall, and then measure the circumference of the possible tire they might use, and then divide that, multiply that circumference by four to see if it's gonna get them close to the wall without breaking the wall. And so that's a challenge called piece of pie. The other challenge we have is called Lucky Larry, and students have to enter their, they take their birthday multiply it by 2 and add 15. This gives them a unique power setting for their robot. And so when you run that power setting, it'll go from the start line and you want to try to get as close to Larry as you can without knocking Larry over. So if we pull this one up, uh, this is a student who just came through. They had a unique power setting of 42. We hit the play button. It's going to send the program to the robot. Then we're going to see the robot come across the table and that one went too far, so it knocked Larry over. So we have to adjust the program next time to get as close as we can without knocking him over. And so we've got students here, they're using the EV3 Lego Mindstorms. Um, and so we're bringing the math in, we're just trying to get them to think about the specifics of programming. Oftentimes with robotics, we, we do kind of a trial method. We put a number in and test it, and we put another in and test it. But we want to get students in the habit of actually calculating out their values beforehand because on larger projects, you can't just put a number in and test. This is called Fun Times Bowling. The kids are working on math facts, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. Basically what they're doing, they're bowling a dice to knock over a pin. And under, a pin, under the pin is a number. So they're comparing that number that's under that pin to the number on the dice. And then they're uh, solving uh, the problem. Fun time math. Enter knees a little, but not too much. And then arms go back like this. So when you jump, you reach forward as you push up on your heels. Vanderland Elementary in DeKalb County. Today I'm at the Math Carnival at Tucker High School and I came to teach students math through physical education. We're working on Olympic long jump and standing long jump today. So I'm teaching the kids how to measure their jumps and also to understand the difference between when they're running and jumping versus standing still and jumping. So we're talking about acceleration, we're talking about momentum, um, talking about weight, um, gravity, and all of those things. We're measuring on the charts over here, we're measuring their distance in both of the jumps and we're doing it according to their age so they all can also see how they compare to other students their own age little girls, five and six years old. Our children go to elementary, uh, the Midvale elementary, elementary nearby, 
And today we're really enjoying ourselves at uh, this carnival here. Um, our two girls have been participating in some of the events here and my daughter just finished um, finishing the estimation station where she was trying to figure out the different candies that's within multiple jars and it's really um, a great part for her because we are, she's six years old but we've been working on multiplication and so she find it normally very boring to do multiplication but today she gets to see the real life application of what multiplication can do and it's a great motivation that candy can be her prize if she actually get all these estimates right. Yeah. Uh, to add to those sentiments, math has to be fun. Education has to be fun. The math carnival is a must have for DeKalb County. This has to continue. More people need to be aware of how fun this activity is because if math is some daunting activity for the youth, they're not going to really engage it. They're not going to see the application of it. But if they see that there are fun applications of it, that the parents enjoy it as well, then it's a family activity and our community, our, our county needs more activities like this that bring everyone together to enjoy learning together. So I applaud the leadership to bring this together this year and look forward to future years of Math Carnival in DeKalb County. My name is Kimberly. I'm a senior from Stevenson High School and I'm at the Math Carnival at Tucker High School right now. And it's really fun. It's free food. You know, it was. It's a really a good experience to get out and uh, support, like you know, the education. And I actually won a prize today. I won a drone, and it was just really fun. And I'm a senior, and we're doing stuff like this. My name is Emil, and I go to Shaw for Presbyterian School. I'm having lots of fun here at the Math Carnival. We're making cards. This is mine. But you have to imagine it and design it the way you want it. You know? Okay, just a moment. Just a moment. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get all the materials. Okay, so a straw. A straw. A straw. A straw. Okay. Everybody needs two of these. Okay. You need four wheels, four wheels, four wheels. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm Dr. Natalie Davis, academic math and science coach at Farrington Elementary, where Panther Pride is truly intensified. Today we're at the Math Carnival making and creating uh, balloon cars. The children are able to design and engineer their own uh, balloon car put wheels and, and designs on it to see how far it can travel. And they're having a, uh, just loads of fun. So we're having a good time out here at the Math Carnival. On your mark. On your mark. Get set. Go. Southwest DeKalb High School and today I'm volunteering today at the Math Carnival to um, ensure that children have knowledge of addition, multiplication, and subtraction. Here at my booth today we're doing um, addition, multiplication, and subtraction by using blocks. We also are giving um, kids incentives to actually learn more about um, math. Here in DeKalb County we're doing great things in family engagement. We're doing great things in the Four Core Content area and today we are having a Math Carnival celebrating math carnival style.